We are at Soltex 2022. It has been 12 months since we featured our first Soltex video, and this year it's going to be even bigger and even better. So there's going to be more machines, more manufacturers, and more technology. Battery power, remote control, petrol engines, and even some dirty diesels. This video is sponsored by ATV Track. More about them later. So they are about to open the doors to let the public in. So let's bring on Soltex 2022. Soltex 2022. Altos Zero Turn with proper tracks on the back. I know the traction on this must be incredible. Up to 25 degree slopes with a zero turn with stick steering. It's got to be worth a try. It's long walks a week. There's always one hooter in there, eh? God, unbelievable. Mm -mm -mm. Put concrete block in there, we'll smash it up. Attachments on the front of it. Oh, okay, yeah, it's yeah. Just, it's just like an A frame with a multi tool. Yeah, yeah. Right. We've got a drinks holder. It's all right, we've got a drinks holder. Once that door's shut, if you would say an operator out in the street, you would feel it's aircon, you'd feel comfortable in there all day, wouldn't you? It looks quite small from the outside, but inside. <laughs> no, 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 it's spacious. It looks really small from outside. <laughs> There's double suspension on this. The air, the air seat has suddenly <laughs> dropped a lot. What have you got in your pocket? <laughs> That's not my pocket. There's nothing in my pocket, mate. <laughs> what, what, what's it called, Dan? What's the make? What's the brand? LM Track, it's called. LM Track. <laughs> right, Josh. Yes. So I'd just like to ask you the question. Cub Cadet, obviously, Fantastic machines. Definitely Which so. is your favourite, the lap bar or the steering wheel? That is a big question, that is Lee. Well, personally, I prefer the lap bar. Really? But if I had sloping ground, I'd go for the steering wheel. So I am caught between the middle. Oh, well, there's three in this one, and there's two in this one. So let's let's even it up. Put it in the lap bar, shall we? James, what do you reckon? Oh, he's steering wheel. Oh, make the most of the little stand here. Look, let's tuck the old card. You never know who might see it. There's a good view up here. Well, we've been noticed by John Deere. <laughs> right, so we've made it over to the Arians Co stand and they've got some new exciting products on their stand for this year. And that includes the range of AS motor products. Now, in front of me, I've got the AS940 Sherpa. It's a new upgraded design. It's got new styling, new fuel cap, ROPS bar, but it, obviously, fundamentally, it's still got all those top features that you expect from that like, German AS motor company. Look at it, what a beast. So as you can see from the styling on the Sherpa, they're trying to bring it in line with the Yak. So this is the flail right on mower, the Yak 1040. And um, yeah, rotary flail. So if you've got long overgrown areas to cut, absolutely fantastic. It will bash its way through and obliterate anything in its path. Behind me, I have the Zenith E. Yes, it is an absolute weapon of a zero turn mower and it's battery powered but it's got something very exciting to show you about it. So it's nice USPs about this mower. For one, the deck is built like a brick outhouse. Yes, it is. It's seven gauge steel, and that bit there is like an inch thick on the bottom. So they have really, really made a really strong deck. So the mowers here have got impact damage protection on them. So if you do accidentally hit something around with a blade, it's got something designed in the bottom that'll only damage the bottom bearing rather than the whole motor. That's a really, really good feature. Now for the exciting bit, the battery compartment. So you've got the lid on the back, like a proper bonnet, very well built. In the back, you've got the batteries. So you can actually take the batteries out properly and change a mover. So a lot of people ask us, how long will a zero turn run on a battery? Well, this one doesn't have any limitations because you can change them out. So most zero turns come with one deck option, but no, this comes with three. So this deck here is a rear discharge deck. So if you're mowing along sort of embankments and things like that, and you just want the grass to go out the back, it does. But it also got a side discharge option on the deck, which you can also change to a mulcher. So you have three options on the deck. I think it's a great, great feature. And it's got a drinks holder. Right, so while the manufacturer's not Hello. looking, I'm going to take Josh for a drive Hello. around Soltex. Hello. It's extremely easy to use. Hello. There's no demonstrations today. Oh. Hello. <laughs> that was, was that you? Overload. That was that you, was, wasn't yeah. it? That was you. Did you see me lift one leg as well? <laughs> <laughs> A bit in a minute. <laughs> Just remember guys, we've got merchandise for sale, so click on the links below, order yours up today and you'll get them in the post. Ego are really going places. Look what I just found. I found an Ego powered pressure washer. That is interesting. If you want to see it in action, please give us some likes and subscribe to the channel below and we'll see if we can do our best to get one for you. Ego motors everywhere, even fitted in onto this snow broom. James is really slacking at the moment. Still a back SL deck for 2022. So check out their new products. So this is a new steel BGA 300 backpack blower. Yes, it runs on the AR3000 backpack. 
pack battery. So it has an up to two hour run time, which is very impressive. So this is producing 86 meters per second of airspeed, which again is up there with a lot of them. But the main difference with this, it's got this bit here, which is a noise reduction fan. So as with other blowers, with this one, you don't get that real squeal sound behind you. Let's give it a go. Oh, it's blowy. And I've got the new HSA 100 from Still. This is their new battery platform in the Pro range. This one here is fitted with the AP200 battery, which will give you up to 150 minutes of runtime. But what are the USPs of this machine? Well, first twist, professional rear handled uh, battery hedge cutter from Still. The only one they've got at the moment is the umbilical corded type. Same blade setup, 24 inches the HSA 86. And the last thing is a magnesium crankcase at the bottom there. So really high performance battery hedge cutter coming to a dealer near you. So check out your local steel dealer. Very professional sports ground cylinder mowers, Finica, which have been revolutionizing the cylinder market for some years now, now have a Dewalt badge on them. Ooh, this is Ryan and Kobe, fans of our YouTube channel. Come to see us today at Soltex. As you're all aware, we love the Milwaukee brand. We've already done a video showing you the new attachments coming to the multi-tool range. And here they are, the bristle broom and the paddle broom. Remember, check out the Milwaukee website, subscribe to the channel, and we'll keep bringing new content. Uh, I just found something from Milwaukee I've not seen before. It is a helmet. I know I'm probably a big enough helmet as it is without putting one on my head. This has got something cool, which makes gonna make me feel like a bit of an aviator. Uh, what? Something's still going right. <laughs> yeah, wow, feels like I'm in VR. <laughs> it doesn't, feel, it doesn't, <laughs> doesn't, it doesn't feel the same as I'm touching. <laughs> oh, look at this. Well, this is interesting. Something different, isn't it? Cobra have never made a ride on Mer before. Lonson engine. But this was something really interesting that I actually saw a preview of before we come to the show. And that is the new range of cylinder Mer from Cobra. They've got a battery one, which takes their 80 volt uh, battery platform system. And it looks to be that they got four different sizes in the petrol range as well. So if you are a demanding homeowner, even semi-professional, looking for a cylinder mower, click on the Cobra website, get to your local dealer, see if they've got any in stock and actually see how impressive they are. They are built really, really well. It's got like a hammerite finish, Lonson engines and Briggs and Stratton engines fitted by the looks of it. They call me the Cobra King actually at work. I don't know why, perhaps it's because I'm a snake. Have a look at the new products come to the range, including the new ride-ons, three ride-ons, a mini rider, side discharge, tractor, and a collector. Biggest in the range is a 25 inch. God, there's some metal work in that. So a bit like the other interchangeable brands on the market, it looks like Cobra have got a series of different attachments from sorrel rollers, aerators and spikers, obviously multi-blade uh, cylinder cartridges. What else have they got? Spring tines and they got bristle brooms. So Look at that, interchangeable cylinder mowers for the UK market for 2023. Right, so we've got Scott and Ed from Bridgemore or Mowers. So if you're in the northern Somerset area, obviously not West Somerset, but northern Somerset, then go and see Bridgemore or Mowers, a fantastic dealer, definitely worth a look. Just remember guys, this video is sponsored by ATV Track. They are ATV tracking systems for motorbikes, cars, trucks, whatever you want, trailers. So let's get to the key points. James, over to you. So most trackers on the market just use GPS signal and get you a rough location of where something is located. But ATV track goes that little bit further using radio frequencies so they can get right down to a meter away from where that product is. So just remember ATV track is Thatcham approved. So it's got the highest level of security on your machinery. So to find out more about the sponsor of this video, please visit atvtrack.co.uk. So Joshua, tell me, we've got this new loader attachment here, by this iZiki tractor. Well, yes, James, I've done my research on this particular product. Um, it all comes down to yard scraping and dairy work. What you can do, you see, depending on what uh, gets your cows milking and producing that so fine white it's, stuff. It's it, an entertainment system. It's thing. an entertainment system. Fantastic. Um, and so it depends on your cattle, obviously. Uh, mine, you know, I, they like the tweenies, to be honest with you. Do they? But uh, yours might like country file. Well, um, no. And depending right. on how, how high they are, right. it's all off the ground, you might have a, you know, a little Dexter cow. Right. Well, actually, you can put it right down on the floor down here. Uh, but you might have a big Frisian, uh, and, you know, it might need it up here. So that's what that attachment is for. Well, sounds bloody fantastic. Yeah. Sounds good. I like it. We want it. 
This time we're sat on an Izeki SF544. Oh, yes, we are. It's a drinks holder test. Let's try it out. Ah, oh, fits in there nicely. But to be fair, you could, you could put a bigger one in if you wanted. This is a Husqvarna P524XR. The R standing for remote. Oh, yes, it is. So if you just grab it, let's see if it works. Oh, no, nothing's working. Why is it not working? Ah, oh, controlling the wrong one. Look, here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, ah. Huh. Thank you very much. <sighs> Cheers, mate. But this is a machine you can either sit on and drive or you can control by remote control. Yes, it is coming out in 2023. So watch out, check out your dealer, go and have a go. I think it's going to be well good fun. So James managed to get to the Ego farm and he got his hands on some new products, but actually he didn't get his hands on everything. I've got the new professional Ego hedge cutter, which has got a 24 inch blade. Look at that. Twistable handle. Nice soft grip as well, actually. So definitely want to get a video on that. So drop us a comment below if you want to see that and we'll make sure we'll get one from Ego. So also looks like they've got a couple of new chargers coming out for the market for next year. You've got the standard charger, which is replacing the CH2100. And you've got the new charger here, the fast charger, which is probably replacing the CH5500. How you doing? You all right? <laughs> Smooth, isn't it? This is the whopping 137 inch Batwing large area mower from Ramsom's called a Batwing. I don't know if Batman would be interested in driving this, but I think it'd be pretty good fun. There's even somewhere for your dog to sit. Go on, Josh, hop in. For the dual, dual battery mower from Makita. Yes, it is because you can put four 18 volt batteries in it. So two in the front two in the back and then once you've used up one set of 36 volt of battery you can then switch it over to the other one i know it's pretty cool that you can still run this on all your power tool batteries so i've just found the new makita 18 volt system which takes one battery really really nice and light looks like a really solid bit of kit actually as well so brushless motor quick chain tensioning that one looks like it's a yeah 30 centimeter guide bar on there so yeah for perfect for the homeowner if you want us to do a video on it hopefully makita actually might send us some products and we'll be able to do that for you we have got a long-term subscriber here yes it's jordan so we're going to say thank you very much jordan for being a subscriber for so long no much appreciated yeah. So you've probably seen the Eurus 100 video we've already put up on YouTube. Well, actually, there is other products on the market. This one is the Kirsten machine. So what makes this a little bit different to the rest of the track versions is this is actually hybrid. So you've got a couple of batteries underneath there. The other thing this is running on is quick and easy change tracks. It's got a wide wheelbase as well. And I have asked the guy at Kirsten whether or not he would be willing to do a video with us and, you know, actually get it in use, get it up in the woods and see what they're all about. So hopefully, drop some comments in the comments box below if you want to see a video on this up in the woods and we'll try our best to do that for you. Right, I've got Stephen from Hansa and he called me over. I don't know why, but why, why did you call me over, Stephen? Because you're from Machinery Nation. Um, and, and, and that's my favorite YouTube channel. There you go, you heard it here. And so I wanted to like, get on it, hi, hi mum. <laughs> so if you're in the market for a professional chipper, check out Hansa. They're built in New Zealand, great, great company, fantastic products. They got the PTO chipper there. They got the pro uh, versions with brakes and Honda engines. And you're moving down then to the domestic end or large domestic and you know, you've got your baby C7, really, really high strength, good quality machines, check them out. Well, this thing here is my sod cutter, otherwise known in England as a turf cutter. Just remember guys, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do. We've also got some lovely videos we've done on the Greenworks products, so check those out. Stay there, don't fall off. Oh, you it. I did. You bought it? Unbelievable. You bought it. <laughs> so this is a Greenworks bucket, but there's a hole in my bucket, Deliza. Oh yes, there is. Because it goes on to this little thing here, one way or another, there we go, and then clip it in. And that is now a pressure washer. So you can fill your bucket full of water, clip it on the top, and you've got a battery powered pressure washer. How about that? <laughs> Convertible zero turn, and we're not talking about the roof. Oh no, because one minute you can sit. Oh, hang on, didn't fall down the seat. There we go. 
One minute you can sit on it, the next minute you can stand behind it and use it. Pretty nifty. That's quite spacious for you. It is, right, isn't it? As per our APF video, we featured a little electric truck in that one. This little electric pickup, I love it. It's got proper sex appeal. Got but to be fair, Josh just turned the ignition on, and it sounds like it's going to take off. Should we do it again? And there's a snowplow on the next stand in front of us, and okay. I feel if he's going to go forwards, we're going to find out what a snowplow feels like. I'm scared. Last time I was in the driver's seat, I was a lot more comfortable. I'm not a happy passenger. That's 15 grand. 15, 15 grand. grand. Anybody want a beer? I found a cool box. I know. What do you want? Fosters? Oh, no. It's a battery charger. Even better. Now, James, I've just been advised I need to put uh, fat mode on. Fat, fat <laughs> mode. <laughs> fat mode. I'm going to take my glasses off just so I can't see anyone. There you go. There you go. Right, we're off. Off away. Well, I said it's my turn. He's already been in the front of one, so okay. it's obviously my go to go. Yeah. Go on. <coughs> what, are you, what are you playing with? Oh, going all the way down here, right? Yeah, go and like, do something down here and turn. Go Good eyes, Iki, and back again. Yeah. Yeah, we're Let's like going 88 mile an hour. <laughs> Got a wide and a big load. A wide. Gonna, and we're going we're gonna to dump the load. Can you? He can as well. <laughs> 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 so we've got another subscriber here, Howard. Thank you very much for subscribing. That's right. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> I was looking for someone to sit down, but it only seems to be standing room only today. Anyone need a Ringo Dingo? Well, this is the Dingo from Toro, and we're going to try it out on our channel very, very soon. So make sure you subscribe. Right, we've got Joshua from Mowers and More in Berkshire. Yes, he is a dealer. So if you're in the Berkshire area, make sure you check out Mowers and More. Thank you for subscribing to our channel, Joshua. Thanks so much, James. Really Thank appreciate you, your videos. No worries at all. So we are in the Etesia ET Lander, which is a three-way tipper battery truck. This has got councils written all over it. So I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, if you're in a town, the town council, you'll be um, seeing these more and more. It's actually got like a full-on proper car radio. It has. Why well, have we got a fire extinguisher in here? That's a bit worrying. Fires? Oh, you got reverse I'm gonna, camera. I'm... camera up here, Josh. I'm not going to lie. Well, hang on. you got like, it's like driving an aeroplane. Gee, gee, gee. Playing with my jockey wheel. Feet. Right, so you've heard of Exhibit and Pimp My Ride. That is Pimp My Buggy. So the Toro Workman with the longest rear view mirror I think I've ever seen. So it's quite comfy, isn't it? It's lovely. It's quite comfy, you know. Similar gears to what we're used to. But no, it's all good. It's day two at Soltex 2022. So the boys having all the fun before getting in the action. It's fairly well built, isn't it? Wrecking the joint. Yeah, yeah, I bet. How would you like to be able to charge your batteries in just eight minutes? Well, Crest have developed a brand new system for commercial users. Not only that, they have a massive storage bank in the back of their van, which you can charge the big main storage battery overnight and then charge your batteries throughout the day. So you have no downtime throughout the day while using commercial equipment. So the big thing with Crest, you've got a big power bank battery here, which you charge up overnight, as James mentioned. But the beauty with this, you can get 20 charges on the small 4 amp hour batteries and you can get nine charges on the backpack battery. So you'll be kept running all day long. Now, Crest have been developing this system at a Canadian university in partnership for about 10 years now. They've had 27 scientists on the case and they've really nailed it down to the T. And the other big thing is, you know, people always worry about the heating issues when you're charging your battery so quickly. Well, the technology they got involved with this, no one else has got. So they've got something completely new in the market. And this battery bank only costs £1.60 to charge at current rates overnight. And then throughout the whole day, you've got enough battery power to charge all the batteries you need. So charge your batteries up within eight minutes. You're definitely going to have another battery ready by the time you've used the other one. I think it's a great innovative idea from Crest. I think it's going to go a long, long way. I think it's time, mate. Yeah. Broken? Yeah. It's there. It's yeah. there. It's there. Let's go. Broken. No, not. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Security! I've got it! I've got it! I've got it! I've got it! So we're on the Kubota stand and Kubota has everything in the way of ground care that anyone will ever need. You've got your subcompact cutting tractors, you've got UTVs and RTVs, they've got the brand new battery tractor here, the little subcompact. Moving on to the Indian made tractor, something more on a budget but still got that real high quality. Coming on through, we've obviously got the Gianni Ferrari new coloured Kubota there as well. Digger, subcompact tractors, and again, F100 series grass cutting machines. So you may recognise this mower, but you'd have probably seen it before in red and yellow. Because earlier in the year, Kubota bought out Gianni Ferrari, which is a front deck collecting ride on range, which has been massive across the whole of Europe. But now they are 
orange. And to be fair, I think it looks really, really cool in orange. And obviously with the Kubota brand on it, even better. So finally got the right lanyard on for the right machine. Nice little Kubota mini digger, absolutely love them. Amazing amounts of power just for a little tiny digger. Even might move me um, friendly, right honorable gentleman here on the front. <laughs> <laughs> So we've got the new WeBang 56 Pro BBC, and this is the only time you should ever need to see it in pieces. They have developed a brand new clutch, especially for the commercial market. It is very well built, but it's actually serviceable. So you can actually take it apart and replace the wear plates within it. I think it's a great idea. So we made it over to the Ventrac stand and I'm on the 4520Y, which is a multi-tool machine. It'll fit flails, stump grinders, leaf blowers, mowers. Pretty sturdy as well. It's rated up to 30 degrees, but I think actually this is a little bit steeper than this. I still feel pretty good up here. Strapped in, they did adjust the old seatbelt so I could uh, sit on comfortably. But yeah, check them out. So if you haven't checked out our Eurus 100 video, it is the first video that we've done on YouTube to hit 1 million views fantastic bit of kit if you want to see an in-depth video subscribe to the channel get Stella to get a machine down to us and we'll do it for you it's gonna be amazing so I am sat on one of the brand new Canicom ride-on brush cuts from Japan they go up to 25 degree slopes but to be fair it feels more like 50 how long is it till spring then Pardon? how long is it till spring <laughs> <laughs> yeah, heard it there. So Grillo are renowned for their professional and commercial ride-on collection machines. But what other things do they have in the range? Well, you've got weed brushes, you've got wheel trimmers, walk behind brush cutters, flail mowers, and ride-on brush cutters. Products galore, all at Soltax. So we're here with Top Conquer. Check out his live stream on Saturday night and subscribe to our channel. And Kong, don't forget. And granddad to the show. <laughs> <laughs> I've no idea what I'm doing. I can't even keep a normal one in a straight line. So this is the new ego mister. I'm gonna turn it up. Bloody hell, Ian, it's blown your air off, mate. <laughs> <laughs> So this is a brand new brand to the UK, which is Del Mourinho. It might be new to the UK though, but it has been around for 150 years in Italy. So it's gonna be really exciting to see what these products are like and how good they are and how well they suit the UK market. So that is it for Soltex 2022. Remember, check out our video sponsor, ATV Track. The link is in the comments below. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe to this channel. It helps us enormously. We'll see you soon. Cheerio. The little skit we done with taking the Milwaukee chainsaw was completely staged and we staged it all ourselves. Soltech security staff are well on it and trust me, we had to go through the levels to make sure they knew what we were doing because they would have probably rugby tackled us to the ground. But yeah, so it's just a joke, just so you're aware. Soltech's an amazing job. So make sure you come to the show in the future. It's brilliant.